Hi guys, it's me again. Uh, it's been a few days, I think, since my last post. I've been quite busy. Uh, I've actually had a very productive few days. Uh, I sort of decided Monday morning that this week I was going to get everything done that I needed to do. I had a lot of errands to run, a lot of um, places I needed to go, a lot of things I needed to do around the house. Some things needed to be fixed. And I just decided, instead of thinking about them and complaining, I'm going to get them done. And I've, I've done quite well in three days. I've done a lot of things. Just a couple more things on the list that need to be done, uh, which I'll try to do tomorrow. So that's been good. I've been very busy, though. Um, I, uh, I spoke to my sister today and got some bad news. So I decided I'm going to talk about that a little bit, vent a little bit. Um, let's see, okay, so if you have seen any of, well, if you've seen maybe my first video, you will know that um, my mom is from America, from the U.S., and my dad is from Sweden. My parents were married for about 10 years, just under 10 years, and in that time they moved back and forth quite a bit between Scandinavia and the U.S., uh, my mom lived in, in Scandinavia for, I think, about four years. They're divorced now. They divorced when I was about four or five years old. And my mom went back to America, and my dad is, is living in Sweden. So, um, mm, my sister and I have always had quite a, a rocky relationship with my mom. She had a bad relationship with my dad, my mother did, uh, a bad divorce, and they, there's still a ridiculous amount of bitterness and anger on both of their parts, I think more so on my mom's part. Uh, even now, you know, 15, more than, gee, almost 20 years after the divorce, it's ridiculous. Um, there have been a lot of problems, and She's uh, she's not easy to get along with. Vanessa, when you sent me, uh, wh I'm sorry, when you made the video about um, this problem you had with your mom, I really felt sympathetic because I, I know how you feel. I didn't speak with my mom for about four years. Um, we went through a period where she did not want to speak to me and I did not want to speak to her for about, about four years. That was all caused because I decided after going to high school in America for one year that I wanted to go and live with my dad in Sweden. And she didn't like that very much, so she decided she didn't want to speak to me for four years. Anyway, the same thing happened to my sister for different reasons. Difficult to get along with. Anyway. So my mom has always said, my mom is very American, she's very patriotic, and she really likes America. That's neither good nor bad. It's just how she is. Uh, she kind of has a hard time understanding why uh, me and my sister both live in Europe and not in America. She thinks we should both come back and live there. My sister lives in Norway. Um, so, my mom has always, our entire life, she has said to us, both of us, when you get married, you better get married in America. Because if you don't, I won't come to the wedding. My mom hates Europe and hates everything having to do with Europe because of my dad. She lived in Denmark. My mom, they used to live in Denmark. And she thinks that Europe is Denmark. And all of Europe is bad because she had a bad time while she was living there. So she has no interest in coming back, even though both of her children live here and probably always will. Um, and so she's always said, our whole lives, you better get married in America, otherwise I won't come to the wedding. Well, that statement was put to the test two days ago. My sister is living in Norway. She's not Norwegian, obviously, but she is living there. Her boyfriend is Norwegian. They've been together for about three years. 
and he's a great guy. He's a really, really nice guy. Um, about two weeks ago, they took a little weekend trip to Rome. And long story short, he proposed to her in Rome. He asked her to marry him. She accepted. And then she called me at about 3 o'clock in the morning, hysterically screaming and excited, saying that she was engaged. And I'm really very, very happy for both of them. It's a great thing. And he's a good guy. I approve, as if they need my approval. Anyway, um, as soon as she was she got engaged, my sister, she realized, uh-oh, I'm going to have to talk to my mom about this. Now, all of my family lives in Europe. I should say all of my dad's side of the family lives in Europe, either in Denmark, Sweden, or Norway. My sister is marrying a Norwegian. All of his family is in Norway. It's logical that the wedding will be in Norway, in Oslo, where they live. Um, so my sister realized, uh-oh, I'm going to have to tell my mom that I'm getting married and that it's going to be in Oslo. What's she going to say? So my sister is very nervous about this. She didn't dare calling my mom for for a couple of weeks. Um, and she talked to me about it and, you know, we talked about mm, what do you think she'll say? What are the repercussions of, you know, whatever decision she makes? What's going to happen? My sister, they really have a bad relationship. It's never been good and it's, it's actually been quite bad. Um, they talk maybe three times a year. My and my mom really is hard on my sister, unfairly. It's ridiculous. So my sister had kind of decided, if she actually decides not to come to my wedding, I'm done with her. Mm, I can understand that. Anyway, so she called my mom two days ago, told her the news, and my mom said uh, something along the lines of, oh, you're getting married, what's gotten into you? And uh, my sister said, I don't, what are you talking about? And my mom asked, well, when's the wedding? And my sister said, well, it will be in the summer. And my mom said, oh, well, where is the wedding? Um, and my sister said, well, it's going to be here in Oslo, where I live. And my mom said, oh, well, that figures. And my sister said, what do you mean? And my mom said, well, that just figures that you're going to have it there. My sister said, yeah. I live here. He is from here. What's the problem? And somehow, I don't really know what happened next, but my mom just said, well, I'm not coming. You know I won't be there. And my sister said, this was 30 seconds after she had told my mom. And so my sister said, do you really want to make that decision? 30 seconds after finding out that I'm engaged, do you really want to make that decision now? My mom just said, yeah. And my sister said, well, I hope you understand how important it is for me that, you're, that you come and uh, that it's really disappointing. It will be really disappointing if you don't. And my mom said, well, you've disappointed me a lot as well, as if that's an answer. They got in a very short argument, really about nothing, and my mom ended up hanging up on my sister. And that's the end of it. Mm, neither one of us really know how to react. Um, I've also had quite a rocky relationship with my mom. Just about a month ago, she stopped speaking to all of us. Um, <laughs> and very bizarre. And I just sort of started talking to her again. I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. I don't really know how to react. I don't know if I can talk to her after what she's done to my sister. I don't know how to forgive that. I don't know how you could decide not to go to your daughter's wedding because of a m bad marriage that you that ended 15 years ago or more. I don't know. It's really upsetting. My sister spent two days crying. We don't know what to do. I don't really want to call my mom right now. I don't really know what to say, but it's, it's, I can't believe it. I expected her to say that, but at the same time, I can't believe she did. It's something I'll have to think about. Now I'm reaching my time limit, so I'll have to stop. Any feedback would be greatly appreciated. Okay, talk to you guys later. Bye.